97.9, the box is the Mad Hat. Morning show. In the studio with the one and only DJ Chose hey, in the building. Hey, H Town, what up, what up? Brooks, Texas in the building by way of H Town. Yeah, What's sure. going on, man? We never I, have we had Chose on the show before? Maybe a while, but Once. It's, been, it's, been a, it's been a good minute, man. Right. What, 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 why you been doing us like this, bro? Oh. Man, it we ain't family. Y'all no really popping like you know. It's, I don't, it's... I ain't, we ain't been feeling the love. Been dropping albums, oh. producing hey. for all. I, I get it. You start producing for all these hot <laughs> folks. You're like, man, I ain't got time for no small town local morning show. Oh, you fooling, man? The morning show is like, uh, <laughs> like going to uh, what is it, Jimmy? Uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a blessing, you know. Nah, for real though, man. Thanks for being here. You got. You, I am going for those that don't know. First time they may be seeing DJ shows. They watching. They listening. Tell them about, and the funny thing is, no, before I get to all that, let me, let me, let me ask you this. First, I've never asked you this. Why are you DJ Chose? Because this ain't, that's not the name your mama gave you. Right, right, right. Um, I felt like God chose me to do music. At first it was just Chose, but I started um, DJing because, right, yeah, yeah for, <laughs> oh, for. No, it's the go. truth, though. It's the truth. <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie. When I pop, y'all going to probably get a gospel album from me, too, and be mad. Like, <laughs> man, we switched up. But I, I always had it in the back of my mind that I'm a, tell them the right like not like just going with the trend so if you listen sometimes you'll hear me telling you some stuff and you'll be like hey where did he come with that from like because that ain't who i thought he was but the truth is i always stood for right and um the dj came from some some like djs used to didn't play my stuff so i started djing to become to, to promote my music. So usually, at first it was just chose, but I mean, eventually. Literally, you became a DJ. Like, you know what? Here's one way that I can ensure that my music get played. I'll become a DJ and start playing right. my own music. Did right. you actually start playing your own music when you did your Oh, music? man, it was terrible. Like, I would be in parties force feeding. <laughs> yeah, because you, <laughs> you said that your music, when you listened to it in retrospect, it was whack. Yeah, it, so he, he see see Mac, you know, he went in and did. No, that's what you but said. It I'm was. just using no, no, your he words. jammed. He jammed. It. <laughs> no, I'm saying you jammed. Well, it. Look at the nah, I went back. <laughs> like, no, because I don't want people to think I said this. No, 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 no. Like this man said. No facts. My old music was whack to a certain. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. You talking growth. about the hits? Nah, nah. Like the 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 stuff before. Like you know how I so you DJ before had it. So it's like me running up on you right now, like. And I'm like, hey, can you play this? And then I'm getting mad though, but I'm and I'm secretly talking to Mac, like, man, Mac had a hating on me. He won't. <laughs> and I, it came through my mind when I was listening the other day, like, you know, you were mixed right, you ain't really have a hook, like it was. It wasn't really right ready. Yeah, it wasn't but ready. I'm getting mad blaming the DJ, yeah, for not playing my music, but everything about my music was wrong. Yeah. So what? What finally clicked with you? Like, maybe it's not them, it's me. Um. I don't think it ever clicked. I've always been mad at them. <laughs> but uh, Damn, that boy artist, the rest of them, yeah. like, I was never mad at you, man. Yeah, no, nah, 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 for real, that's real. I like that though. That's, yeah. that's that's fair. So, are you still that hard on yourself now? Um, nah. You you ever hit a point where you just know you're good and like you don't really okay. care what nobody think? Okay. Yeah, like I think um with the rapping or with the production, all of that. Like I really probably can, and this is a lot to say, but I don't really feel like it's somebody in in my like it, I don't, I'm not like a battle rapper or nothing like that. But I could tell a story better than a lot of people could tell a story, and I know that because like some of the greats will come pit me on a song, or they'll hit me like you might not never know, but they'll secretly be in my inbox like, "Hey, let's work. I really like your hooks." Right. And it'd be like, I never expected them to hit me, but it shows me like it is something different going on, and you know, a lot of we got a lot of people who can really rap and do music but I feel like I'm one of them people who can really give you like a masterpiece of a song and I mean people ain't got to see it yet but me and my team pushing to really put out some of my better music some of my more visionary things like I'm about to do my next project is gonna be like Strictly based off of you traveling. Are, you are already thinking about the next album. You just dropped something? Just, wait, just, wait just what do you mean really it's based off of traveling? You wanna know what's messed up? I did some studying today and I'm on the phone with the OG and he told me man if you look at America, it's based off consumption. Mm -hmm. So we are in a, a a world where we got people who are obese. They consume food. Mm -hmm. These same people want to consume music. That's why you listen to Kanye album once, and now you're on the next move. Like, you, you already ate. Now you're trying to get full again. So 
I would be a fool to be sitting there like, oh, my album, I'm going to push it for a year. Now nah, I'm going to push it as hard as I can for two months, and then I'm right back at them. You don't think that's bad or flooding the market? And I know I see a lot of people starting to do that now. Mm -hmm. Some have done it in the past, but I'm starting to see it more and more with artists. Nah, I think it's smart because these same people, like, I know myself. Like, when I find a good album that sticks, like, this month I listen to Gates' album, but once I play it out, I'm gonna be now hoping to do some songs on this Gates album. Now yeah, that's yeah, yeah. come on now. Nah, but it was a that's good a album. That's a political answer. <laughs> nah, it was a great album. Gates, he usually has some great albums. Yeah, he does. yeah, yeah. It's great music. So I'm gonna consume that for a month, two months, and it's gonna be classic. I'm gonna consume it for life. But I see what you're saying. I'll be ready for him to something, drop. Do something new. Yeah. Wow. Going back to this album and telling stories. Um, on this album, you got a, a song called Open Your Eyes. Right. I like that song. Me too. Can, <laughs> <laughs> can Me too. you tell us, uh, for the people who don't know, what the song is about and what were you talking about? Do you remember? I do. First verse is about um, a girl who, like, I was her friend, but, mm -hmm. you know, we liked each other, but she just slept on me for a long time, and then I remember the most disrespectful thing she did was... This was a true story? True story. Oh, my God. The most disrespectful thing she ever did was ask me what she should get the dude she liked for his birthday. and But she didn't know she was being disrespectful. She thought she had a friendship with you, right? I mean, we would flirt, you know? Uh, it was kind of like that, you know? I was in her DM, you know? <laughs> if, there, if we was talking today, I would be in her DM. We would be sending the hard eyes. We would be... She would know what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And it was just like... I mean... But y'all weren't talking, talking yet. Um, We was... You man, y'all women know how to do what, what y'all do. <laughs> so just last attacked. night, uh -oh. I feel attacked. <laughs> listen, just last night I'm on the phone with somebody and they called me and they told me about all the celebrities that be in their DM, and it's like, well, why do you feel the need to call me at two in the morning and tell me this? But you know, like I kind of feel like you kind of like me to call me at two in the morning. You kind of got some kind of connection there, but I just be thinking like women know what they be doing, and for us. It be like, sometimes I'm one of them people, I play the role. Like, all right, you want to play that friend role, but you're going to see me later. And she saw me later, and later it was like, you, I liked you this whole time. And it's like, well, it's too late for that. Like, okay, and that was the first verse. Go on on this song, because I, oh, I, I yeah, like yeah. this song. Uh -oh. No, the second verse is the, the meanest. Go, yeah. go ahead. Let them know. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. them know. What happened? Nah. What happened here? Um, I'm, I'm primarily talking about back when my, I had white T-shirts and stuff like that, Um, when I had no ice. When I used to write music, I'm, I'm talking about when I used to write music that nobody liked. I'm talking about my song, Pop That. I'm talking about... Pop That was a hit. Yeah, Pop That was a hit. That was my first one. I'm talking about PV. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when I had a Ford Explorer um, that nope. I was trying to build my credit score with. So <laughs> I love this because it's a very personal album for mm -hmm. the people who don't know who you are. They get the opportunity to see part of your journey because yeah. you talk about your mom you talk about so many different things that people might not know right. about you on this album and that's what I really love about the album I l do love the tracks with Little Kiki yeah. you have uh, Ken the Man on the album mm -hmm. I like that song too so you got some great sounding music man thank you for checking it out man you know? no I gotta listen to everything yeah. what's happening you know we might get not get the opportunity to see each other, but I right. do listen to the music. Oh, that means a lot. And I think that shows, because last night, I think coming from where I'm from, like, I doubt myself a lot. So when I plan my album release, I'm primarily thinking, oh, let's have it in Brookshire. And my my um PR person was like, no, we're not doing Brookshire. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, we want to have it. So she was like, third ward. And I'm like, man, third ward. Right. <laughs> So I ended up having my album released, but bottom, you know, bottom line, before I got there, it started at seven. It was already like fifty people there. By the time eight hit, it was wall to wall, and I was like, "It's something connecting here. This ain't just regular no more. It's like becoming more of a." And, and it was like, just, I love the way he always Chose always does this. I've never seen one people person talk so down on himself. Like I'm a nobody. Like your whole. <laughs> You should probably change your name, but there's already been somebody called that before. <laughs> but you always act like you don't know who you are, which is humbling. It's cool yeah. to see. But you you rarely give yourself any credit. It's like you want to, but you are afraid to give yourself credit. And I'm saying this because I've had personal conversations. Right, with you. right, right. <laughs> but to hear you now, we're here live. And I'm like, damn, he's still doing that. 
that's kind of interesting to me that I think I really have you realized where you are? We've had this conversation before where I'm like, Joe, you're there. Why, yeah. why do you keep acting like you're not? I guess some people can ride with it. Like, maybe you could, but I can't. No, I mean, I get it. You're not comfortable I know. In, that, in that outfit, so to speak. Well, not but yours sound more negative towards Cho's. Like he does, do you think you not deserve? Nah, I know I deserve it, but it be sometimes just knowing like where I should be and where I know I want to be. So to me, like some like like it's almost like some people. I know a lot of people. They'll get the platinum plaque and they go to sleep. I got a platinum plaque and I can't sleep. Well, you still on your journey, right? So to me, I ain't ate yet. Like, I ain't I ate the food. Okay, I got you. I see I it. I know it's there for me, but I feel like I still got work to do, and I am mentally humbled. And I ain't like, this ain't like a facade where I'm saying all this, and then I'm finna go tell a chick that I see down the hall, girl, you know who I am, I'm DJ Cho. Nah, that ain't me. I'm literally gonna see the girl down the hall and be like, nice to meet you. I'm Norman, but I, I produce, <laughs> and my name DJ Cho. And I'm hoping that she be like, I know you, but if she don't, I'm gonna put her on me. I'm gonna take her phone, put my... Yeah. iTunes in and, and you know I'm still that guy like we still be in the club like you ever heard of me can I give you my iTunes and girls be like man if you don't get out of here like I'd listen to you and it, it that makes me feel good and so where did that guy come from was it your mom your dad uh, you know mm. you've always been this guy or were you on your song you got a song that say you can't floss about your love or something yeah yeah or are you always been that person? I'm not flashy with my love. Yeah, you're not flashy with your love. Yeah, uh, I, I always, really the trailer house. I used to stay in the trailer house, and that trailer house probably turned me into something that I think is good. I mean, somebody like Hatter might be like, this not right yet. But me personally, I love it because I don't see too many. Everybody I see is lying. They this, they that, they, they, and they not that. And I know they're not that. Like, I'm that, but I'm not even telling you I'm that. Like, it ain't nothing, no capping me. Like, everything I say on my songs when I say I'm a million dollar, da 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 da, if I ain't that, I'm about to be that. Like, I can go to sleep tomorrow and I'm gonna wake up and y'all gonna be like, right. damn, he that now. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'm close enough to be able to speak on it. But I know, like, a lot of people who just, they cap. Like, we're in, this is 2000 and cap. Like, for real. <laughs> We in cap this season. baseball cap, <laughs> bottle cap, all kind of cap, every cap you got, like that's. But that's you know what? what you also in hip hop, that's the tradition of you. You talk about it until you got it, right? Well, I'm <laughs> one of the people. I really, really, really don't talk about it until I'm really about to have it. I'm not. I'm not yeah. mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But I learned that from people like you, though. Whether you believe it or not, we're not going there. Yeah. This interview is about you. Yeah. Uh, why Max? says the album is very personal. Why is this album so personal? I, and was it oh, was it on purpose or it just happened to be that way? Sometimes you just record and those are the songs that you pick for this album and don't even realize that that happened. On purpose. I really like making real music and that's probably been one of my downfalls because a lot of people will tell me like, man, we used to this from you, feed us this, and they'd be like, man, that ain't really true to me. Like, I can give you a I million. Those hits. Yeah, I could do that in my sleep, but... It's hard marketing that for a year for me. Because when I market that for a year, I'm just feeling like that don't do nothing for me. It might do something for her and him and them over there in the club when they turned up, but it don't do nothing for me. So I try to personally give you a everywhere I go, something with a complete balance of you can play this in the club, but I'm telling you I get a lot of love and a lot of hate. I'm telling you the real, and I'm hoping that it do something for you. So this project called Tripolar, and my goal was to give you – um my 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 love side, my turned up side, and my pain side. So it's three instead of bipolar, it's tripolar. So the goal was to give you mixed emotions, and I think I delivered that correctly. Oh yeah, you did it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you did it. Thank you. So where does the pain side come from? Uh, recently I just lost my mama, and I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. Good. I'm I'm learning how to cope, and that it helped me release. Like I probably wouldn't even. I probably wouldn't even make, I probably wouldn't be able to have this conversation with y'all without tearing up if I wouldn't, if I ain't make 10 songs about my mom until I found the best one. Mm. So now, like, people might think, I, I really got a whole project by my mama that's just, like, in the stash. And it's not for y'all, but it's for me. You, you know what I'm saying? So 
I'm glad I got to do that, and I'm glad people received it so well. And one thing, and and thank you for um introducing me to Zero. And one thing Zero told me, and I didn't know Zero was this cool until I had like cool. told me he was. But Zero told me this one thing, and he was like, "Man, you can make a lot of music shows, and you can make this kind of music, but." One thing about my music and why it always stuck, it was like, I always made music for people who gonna go through that same experience. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow. You might not have lost your mama yet, but I have, and you're gonna visit this song when it happens. Like, I didn't realize how important Dear Mama by Pac was. I didn't realize how important, and, and I know a lot of people hate him, but I wish. Like, I wish means a lot to me, and it's not... You know, forget R. Kelly. It's the song. It's right. the it's the right. It's the, mm-hmm. it's what it did to me when I was a child, watching 106 in Park, and I didn't understand it. Like I'm singing it, like I like this song, but now I feel this song. You experience loss. Yeah, so that'd be my goal with music. I'm trying to give you something that when you go through it, you can revert back to my music. What about the the love? Since you spoke on that, what about love? Because you know, a lot of rappers say it ain't cool to talk about love in songs. Um, they sleep. <laughs> uh, they sleep for real. I really like to talk about love because you ain't supposed. You know, in hip hop, some people still don't like to let the emotional side. And I think Drake was one of the first artists it seems. I know other artists, even LL Cool J. I need love, but it's he was you know, but it's a very braggadocious right genre. So when you see, you know, MCs not afraid to be show the sensitive side right. to show that they need love too so to speak it's a I think it's a big difference like when we everybody you name it and keep in mind my favorite artist of all time is Ja Rule which is the king of Drake and Drake is like the the <laughs> next you know the next Ja Rule and I know everybody got something to say about <laughs> that but who cares um, <laughs> bottom line I respect both I respect both but I feel, I feel what you no, saying no I'm saying I'm a Drake you respect them you respect them but you said you, the singing with the songs and being a little more emotional for your generation probably would have been Ja Rule yeah yeah and well Ja Rule was like alright so you know I, I would look at Pac like alright y'all might look at Face like Faces that and then Pac. Yeah. Okay, so to me, Ja Rule is that, then Drake is that. And Drake is my favorite, one of my favorite artists, mm-hmm. so it's not no shade. Right, right. But what I can say is, based off what you're saying, when rappers be like, oh, I ain't going to talk about emotion and stuff, I be feeling like that's a rapper. I don't think nobody you just named is a rapper. Everybody you just named are like elites. They're artists. They're greats. Mm-hmm. I'm a great. I'm an elite. I'm an artist. Okay. And it might not be... Right now, but it is, you know, in due time, it's gonna be like, wow, he, you know, he's a great, he really can. I'm on these songs auto tuning with all my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and they sound good. They do. So, what, and that is a, a curious question. Use the auto tune almost on every song. Is that your style? Or, you That's know, a fair question. I was uh, just curious. Well, what happened was, it probably wasn't my style, but when I started songwriting, I learned melodies. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember, like, yesterday, it's this dude, Mike Karen, who I do business with. He told me, he was like, man, I sent him some stuff. And I did a song that Kanye West did. I sent it to him at 6 a.m. He got it. At, he listened at 7, and Kanye West had it back to us by 10. It was supposed to go on Suicide Squad. It never happened. Mm-hmm. But in that conversation, he told me, he said, Chos, right now... Your singing is rough. Keep giving me melodies, but I guarantee you in a year you're going to be able to sing. And I can't sing on a mic. like. Right. But now I be noticing if I'm in the car and I'm hitting notes, <laughs> they sound good sometimes. Right, right. But on auto-tune, I can fool you. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. You. That's and you're okay with that because I know there was a time when people were like, oh, that's not this and that's not that. Uh, but but you're okay with it because that, that, that's not really where you started. You, know, yeah. you, still, you made hits prior to right, doing right. what you're doing now. Yeah, uh, it's growth, and everybody, I mean, I feel like, it was, for, first and foremost, everybody uses auto-tune. I think I use it a little differently, and I need to stop, but mine might be a little... Man, you sound good. Well, yeah, yeah, and I can fool you, but I don't, I ain't... You inspired me. You inspired me. I heard what you was oh, doing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. ooh, I'm going to sing on one of these. Yeah, 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 I hit yeah, it, sure. Yeah, yeah, so you inspired me. So I ain't even, I'm not mad about that, but I just know sometimes other MCs, they like, oh, that's... Oh, you ain't hard. If you ain't, you know, yeah. spitting those hardcore lyrics and being rough, rugged, and raw, so to speak, all the time. That's oh, them. They live in like a couple years ago. We'll see them when they come back. <laughs> 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 but right now, it's 
And you know, it's still like people that don't use like I could man, I swear if I take auto tune off right now and rap or like just give you the club stuff that they want, just ratchet. Mm-hmm. It'd be crazy. I do it every day. Like I'm working on a project for somebody right now. I ain't gonna spill the beans and I can't use auto tune. All they hooks is just they're like, I have to say the worst things in life. And it has to be with no auto tune. <laughs> and it sounds so good. And I'd be like, ooh, I can make music like this, but I'd be having to remember like that ain't who I'm trying to be. Mm. Just because I can do it and it's easy don't mean I want to do it. Okay. Now, and we don't have to put names out there, but I know you you do have a family member that is of the industry. Were they aware of your talent? Yeah. yeah. So they knew of your talent. And I, like I said, in, in, in this person works outside of R&B, right. hip-hop. They do gospel. I'm just going to leave it there. It wouldn't tell it then. Did, well, I'm just curious as to what happened and why that person, did he just like, ah, oh, that kid's not serious about it? Why that person? And look, Mac want to know who it is. It's yeah. somebody who is huge. No, is you'll find out. Huh? Yeah. Is it a secret? That's up to Cho. No, yeah, like it's, it's a it's secret Cho, for it's, sure. It's, it's, it's a family it's a member, secret. though. It's a family member. There's them. no secret out there that this, because people going to look and find out. Nah, so. they, they are never. It's hard. I don't think. We ain't got to say last name. No, nah, yeah. we ain't say name. I'm yeah. just saying. They have to you do really a lot of research know. to figure yeah. it out. It's going to have to be somebody that knows him personally grew up with me. Wow. Yeah. Because everybody, I didn't know. I didn't know. Everybody that know me going to know who you're talking about. But I can say this. I love him. Like, it. people be, like, getting mad. I'm going to tell you one thing I'm learning now. And you probably, you probably brought this to me, our last conversation. I'm getting tired of getting the blame <laughs> for all of this Listen, stuff. But go ahead. You told me mm-hmm. to enjoy this process. I did. And I'm learning how to enjoy the fact that now for real, for real with him, like you know how you young and you think, man, he was supposed to do this for me. He was supposed to do that. Nah, he really wouldn't. And... I don't know who I would be if he would have. Mm. So I thank God that he didn't. Mm. And I, I can honestly, you know, in his defense, I can say that around that time, I might not have been the best artist, but definitely, you know, four years ago, he called and was like, please let me get in business with you. <laughs> <laughs> please. And I was just like, I'm already in business. We ain't, you know. <laughs> but now we talk and we talk about like. Y'all cool? Yeah, yeah, we okay, talk good, other good, business, good, good, but good, we good. we can never talk music business no more. Really? Yeah, like for what? But because he's large in what he does, so I'm kind of surprised that he's like, no, yeah. we can't. Well, you large enough to do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you right, you right. I mean, if I ain't doing a gospel album, we ain't gonna <laughs> talk about. It. But I really do. I love him because he put me on other business ventures. He always invited yeah, he had me you in the mix. He did have you. Yeah, he. I mean, well, he used to make me do his magazines back in the day for uh, <laughs> school clothes. So I thank him for stuff like that. Like. <laughs> He was a great person. He put us on money. And I I really Mac really won't know. I know. <laughs> we yeah, don't yeah. know though. Peep the situation that <laughs> peeped it a long time ago. Keep yeah, on peeping, yeah. brother. But uh yeah, shout out cuz I love you, baby. It ain't nothing like that. I love now, you. Now, okay, now and just I know there was a, a time, and we again on another one, we don't have to say nothing. There was a time where you had some problems with another MC that you were close to. Did y'all ever did y'all ever mend that? Man, I love him too, man. He know I love him though. I was upset with both of y'all. We was childish. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm big. I'm man enough to know when I'm wrong, but I had to be wrong because I was about to get sued. And me and him had a conversation before he did that, and he said he wouldn't do it, and he did it. And he told me later on, he's like, "Man, I let the internet get me." And in my head, I'm like, wow. "We brothers. How could we? How could you let the internet take you anywhere? You know?" And I knew after that, like. It be like that, but I also was hurt because I know, like, if it was me and somebody, the internet was asking me questions and I knew I couldn't answer verbally, I personally would say, forget my fans, and I would, base, based off the relationship me and him have, it's not a regular relationship. It's really like a, we Brother. saw each other the whole way. Right. So that ain't supposed to So be. nothing gets bigger than that. No mm-hmm. fan, no nothing. It's just, it would have been a straight up, I, you know, I, I ain't answering that, and I would have shut up until it, it blew over. But when he went verbal, you know, but I called him like, yeah, "How were y'all able to mend it?" Like, we doing another one where we ain't saying names, but I'm respecting. Man, B King, I, I love you, man. <laughs> like, I ain't, me and him ain't doing no cap. And I tell you right now, B King, I called him, mm-hmm. and when I called him, he was like, "Man, you must know I love you, bro. I was about to call you too." And then I knew after that, like, man, I don't, you know, we, we, we tripping on. And we both was laughing because me and him, neither are violent. Like, we both on some, 
let's get some money. So mm-hmm. after that, I mean, I think it stuff like that make your relationship stronger. You know, it might have tainted us in a, in a way, but I mean, he know and I know who he is. Like I knew that was just a moment, and I knew that that doesn't represent who he really is. And I would hope he understands that the same. Like that don't represent me and your relationship. That was just a a bad time, and you know, lawsuits on the line. So I'm over it. And verbally to the whole city of Houston, man, uh, B King, I apologize and I love you, and I hope it's the same. Mm. So you must have got that check. <laughs> oh, I did get that check. And that you check know, always make everything easy. <laughs> Since we talked about that, there was another song that you did that seemed that it came out and copied your song back in the days. I never talked to you about yeah. this, and I don't know why, I guess because of this. Uh, your pop song. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, was there ever any resolve with that? Because it seemed like you had yours, and then all of a sudden it was this other song that used the same sample that you used. And I'm sometimes coincidence does happen. Yeah. Do you know or not? Was that ever? Man, you want to know what's crazy? The Ro called me when he um was with French, and he was like, "Hey, yo, chose. We was just in a strip club in Houston, and French Montana heard pop that, and they like, they like, we in the studio now, and they kind of like doing their own thing with it." And I was like, and this was like a heads up though. Mm-hmm. He's this, letting you know that we this was like a, we have one. We you we doing this. We using almost the same thing. This is eight months before it happened. So he like giving me like a heads up, like heads up, man. It's going on, and I'm like, you know, but I'm like knowing before y'all know, and I'm like, man, that ain't gonna happen. I'm working hard. I'm gonna outwork it. But by the time it hit, when that budget hit, you can't do nothing about it. Then, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I was broke. <laughs> So I called my lawyer and I was like, man, can I can I sue? And he was like, man, you could really sue for video rights, but since you didn't own the sample, you can't really sue. So bottom line though, you know, once like Max said, once that check hit, uh, when I started songwriting, I forgave mentally, I forgave French Montana. And I do forgive you, brother. And I hope, I hope you get a hit soon. And I hope maybe I can help you get a hit, because right now you might need one. So holla at your boy. Okay, go back. Now, you said something hey, this, interesting this, to me. This, this, this portion of the show just got messy, I think. Uh, <laughs> this was like, back. Did you hear him? He said he was broke. So when did you first start making money? You said you was broke at this particular time. Yeah. It was already, yeah. You already of, had some hits. Yeah, it was already nah, a couple that's of hits. No, you know, huh? Well, I, no, let me. Yeah, hits before pop. Yeah, yeah, but they wouldn't like. I never really. When you a, say you broke, were well, you broke like J Mac broke? Like I'm really broke. <laughs> like, broke like y'all rich people broke. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> you rich Mac broke. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like coming from the. Y'all gotta understand. So J Mac, I don't know your situation, right. and I don't want to downplay what you've been through. But where I'm from, coming from where I'm from, I was like in debt before I was born. I mean, I understand that. That's like every the average black man or average <laughs> urban guy. No, yeah. they really are. I mean, I understand you come from a small town. Yeah. I understand it's only certain jobs that you get the opportunity to do. Okay. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But like you said, you were broke. And at this particular point, your mom. So what is your mom and all the family saying? Because they, they think are they going with the dream, even though I know you graduated my from college. Mama, man, I swear, my mom and my grandma, they like was like, they'll do whatever for me. Really? And they I believed? Think, my yeah, my mama. Your man, grandma. <laughs> my grandma yeah, bought me my first. Amp. You got a good grandma. What? Wow. Cause my grandma would be like, boy, if you don't shut that music down, man, I'll be dropping my grandma that bag now. Okay, <laughs> I drop that bag. She so be, she believed in the dream. She believed. Absolutely. My mama believed. My mama was in church though, heavy, and she didn't want to, but I think she knew because she brought me my first keyboard. It was a Phantom X, say like a thousand dollars. I think she just knew like if. Either you're going to go to jail or you're going to do what you love. So let me support what you love. Mm. But when I tell you, like, I was under debt, like, I had, like, cars in my name when I was, like, 11. Like, what? I'm like. I feel I know what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. If you're black, you understand the story. <laughs> yeah, so. Jazz, Jazz, you couldn't is, understand. Jazz is confused. Well, I don't me. understand. I understand the situation. No, I have you... never been through it, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clear She's that She's herself. <laughs> oh, that's real, Chose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for <Shut> sure. <laughs> I've only heard about this. <laughs> To be so close to it. Okay, so Same. how did you get out? What was the first check that hit? Then you was like, okay, is I see progress. I'm, uh, man, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what happened, but while I was before all of this, mm-hmm. and this is not I pop that. I probably had like sixty thousand in the shoebox, mm-hmm. but I was still broke because 
to me, it's the things that I wanted that I couldn't have. Like, I couldn't get an apartment because I didn't know how well, I had credit, uh-huh. but I didn't know when I was going to stop making money. And I'm right. scared. Like, it was like a, I'm, I was like rich scared, though. And uh-huh. this is like. Chose ain't being honest with y'all. He's still like that. I'm still like that. He's I got a afraid. nice house, but I want a nice I, house. <laughs> he's still afraid. Yeah, and he I am. doesn't recognize his life right now. That's why we had this. Our conversation was a weird conversation because it was like somebody who's doing it and needs to be told, hey, you're doing it. Yeah. And so he's still operating in fear. You still are operating in fear. This has not Big changed face. yet. Yeah. But you, you got to work on that, bro. No, no, no. It's. it's Cause you ain't comfortable in chose yet. It's like it's like you looking on the outside. Okay, we getting too deep on this. Go It'll ahead. come. It'll come. I'm just saying. It's, I'm you just... still sound like you. There's fear. Why? Man, cause I are got... you enjoying this at all? Nah. Okay. Nah, I'm, and I'm I can't enjoying. Talk track cause I don't enjoy what I do. It's I'm about to start obvious. traveling. Right. But as far as like the other side of it, nah, cause I actually know like at any given moment things can change, and I just seen it happen. Like I just seen. People I love be on top, and then at any given moment, everything 360. So I'm just real, real careful. I ain't one of them people who uh, just got a $10,000 check and go buy a Roly. Like, it, it ain't that important to me. And like I said, a lot of this is baseball cap. Mm. Astros. Mm. All the songs, we talked about your rap, all the songs you have produced. What is the your most favorite song that you produce? Um... No smoke, of course. Three, oh yeah, three times platinum. How long so, did it take you to produce that? By by whom? Uh, by NBA YoungBoy. So, um, no smoke, probably like two hours. But when I did the hook, uh-huh. that was the part that really meant something because I was mad at my friend at the time. We got into it in the club, uh-huh. and. The hook was really like the animosity came from how we got into it. Mm-hmm. We was like at the end of the night we had made us some. Um, oh, that's how I was getting money. I was I was a promoter, so I had like clubs and we would do clubs. Oh, I didn't know that chose. Yeah, yeah, we was killing like the country though, Brian and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So at the end of the night, it was like a whole bunch of women around, and he said something real slick, and we got into it. And after that, uh, OG Rob, what up, man? So after that, um, we got into a bad, and at the, I took the animosity and put it into the record. And it wasn't about him, but his energy helped me write No Smoke. Wow. Yeah. And that's a hit. And NBA Youngboy get a lot of looks on YouTube. So I know you're yeah. getting checks over there. Oh, yeah. A lot of looks on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's run, through, uh, run through, for those that don't know, run through the artists that you did songs for, the hits. Just name them. Just just run, start running through them from the beginning, all the hits. Okay, so we're going to start Yours with... and others. Okay, me, because I don't, <laughs> don't want to go through vibes. So me, I got hits. But uh, Trey Songs, of course, uh, Akon, um, Kevin Gates, um, Kodak Black, A Boogie, PNB, Rock. Um, I said Kevin Gates. Megan Thee Stallion. Um... Who else, my brother? All I, them hits. And why you still DJ? Because I look on the flyer yeah. and you DJing. <laughs> I'm like, tripping. that boy got plenty of money and yeah. he's DJing. He must really love to DJ. I'll be tripping. <laughs> I, I'll be tripping. No, I'm going to stop soon. I just be looking at stuff and I just be like, okay, he, he the DJ bigger than all the artists and he over there DJing. It just yeah. be weird to me, but you know, I just be, <laughs> I just look and see. Stuff different from people, so I just be like, okay, it's okay. It's, it's no, he him. right. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you not weird. You right. I be thinking the same thing. Like y'all booked him. <laughs> y'all booked. I could have, but you know, I, I mean, it's, I'm gonna stop soon. I'm, I'm waiting on, um, I'm waiting on no smoke money. If that make any sense to y'all, right. it's, three, it's three times platinum and I ain't got paid yet. So, uh oh, no, 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 but it's not it's a, coming. it's not a bad. I ain't got paid. It's like one of them good. I ain't got paid. It's like a lot of people be in a rush to get their money. I'm one of them people when when I know a check coming and I ain't got it, I just know I ain't gonna never be broke. So, <laughs> yeah. No smoke car. Yeah. So you also you've been doing a lot of stuff with Megan since like early on. So did you always know that Megan was gonna pop like the way she is now? I knew Megan was a star. Yeah. From the first, um. When she came to my house and she checked me, like, she came to my house and I had did, like, her first, one of her first viral videos called Stally Freestyle. Mm-hmm. 
And I when know. I sent her the video back, because I just believed. I was like, you know what? At around this time, her mom was like, man, we ain't, we ain't really, you know, we need this. We need that. We need looks on some videos. And I was like, I just want to help. Like, whatever I can help with, I ain't trying to be man, too attached to none of that. I just want to help. So... At that time, I could provide beats and videos. So when I shot, you was actually doing the video. I you shot said, it and okay. edited it. We edited that that together on my floor. Like I remember, like yesterday, and I knew she was a star when she came in there. And I sent her the first edit, and she came in and she was like, "No, no." And she was like, <laughs> and that was like very bold for somebody who shot you a free video <laughs> for you to <laughs> tell me no, no. So I had to go back in and like take the scenes we did in one of my rooms out and add other scenes. And then the next day, she was like, no, no, we got to add. So we came back and shot more scenes. And she was like, I ain't like my outfit. And if you would have seen the four-day process to getting this minute and 50-second viral video out, mm -hmm. it just showed me, like, okay, this is the reason why I ain't blew up yet, and this is the reason why you have. Because you got, like, you know who you are and what you want. And I'm still learning that even though you, like, newer to me, you know that. Mm. And she taught me to, like, start opening my mouth. Like, it's certain situations I be in where it's like, nah, bro, you're not finna book me for a bottle in a section. I don't want that. I want my money. <laughs> right. So. What's your sign? I'm Aquarius. I'm Aquarius. Just like <laughs> Yeah, Aquarius. Aquarius gang, you feel when, me? When you start asking people something. Uh, All right, because that sounds like something I would do. I was I would be quiet and not say anything. So yeah. I was like, that just Aquarius reminds thing. me of something yeah. I would do. And I got to get off that. I be Now I be, like, really, really demanding. When it comes to certain stuff that I go to war about, anything that I don't, I ain't going to worry about it. I ain't saying that. Why are you still rapping? It seems like you're making all this money producing other no. people. No. <laughs> DJing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Rapping. Rapping stupid. No. <laughs> rapping, I got to understand yeah. that. The DJing, I, I'll never get it. I mean, I, now. That's I how it started. I understand yeah. that. But he might be DJing in somewhere in Brookshire somewhere. Or yeah. Brandon, That's or, home. I, I do trail rides and all. Wings. Where is the trail ride? Trail ride. Don't I say that. Somebody love. like, let me get y'all's number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get to do my work. Baby showers. <laughs> Call, hey, y'all hit my guy. We booking that. All that. So <laughs> You wild, son. I saw on your Instagram, too, you were working with JT after a long time. Ooh. She, yeah, that, Ooh. that was huge. You we, said y'all had been trying to get in the studio and everything. So how was her energy and everything? Because I haven't seen many people been working with oh. her since she's been out. Man, JT had called me in the middle of the night and be what? like, chose, I don't like no beats that's in this folder that somebody sent. What you doing tomorrow? I'm be like nothing. And she'll she'll just send a flight, and she'll be like, I need your beats. So JT really kind of then took me to a different place mm -hmm. mentally, cause now she's showing me. Megan showed me how I should do this. JT showed me <laughs> that I need to be like, I don't want to send you no beats. Fly me out. Like she just do it. I don't even tell her. She'll be like, I right, I want to work. I'm finna fly you out. So I'm learning now. I don't even need to work in the email. I need to. And she, we did our first session. We did four songs in one day, which, you know, mentally, if you know what four songs from DJ Cho's cost, I'm already putting myself in a different <laughs> mind frame because I'm like, he like expensive. I said. I ain't. <laughs> so why she choose you? I don't think she chose me. I think. Her name is DJ Chose. Hey. <laughs> Jay Mack was trying to give you the alley oop with that yeah, one, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, sorry nah, about nah, that, man. Nah, I'm sorry nah. about that. I couldn't help myself. I yeah, thought it was yeah. the show. I'm <laughs> sorry, Cho. You supposed yeah, to add that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, but I ain't need. I ain't. I ain't. I don't need that kind of pressure because that shoes word sound a little too. Mm -hmm. And I don't. When I do business with women, I don't like to play. I don't is it like different with women and men. Well, I, no, no, no. But you know, with a woman is delicate. Like you got to be careful because, like, jazz really beautiful, right? But if you be Me like, too. Me too times. You know, I would want y'all to be like, why why jazz choose you to come like cause then that make her sound like she at for me and it really might not be that. Like me and it's on business. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on business. It's on business. Like, me and them yeah. girls be doing business. It don't be like granted we be like friends. They'll call me and ask me about this or that, but we really be doing business. So that's I, I like to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. DJ chose in the building. Uh, new album out right now called What My Brother Tripolar Tripolar out right now Yes sir I'm gonna try to see if I can buy a track or two 
It might be out the range. Nah, nah. Well, just JT with... just got through with him, so it might be out the it range. It might. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, but you did get a track before that, right? I do have. I did get a discount early on, so I might be okay. I might have to just keep that one and call it a, call it, call it good luck on that one. Let me right tell y'all the truth. When I come off my biggest leaks, that's when I go on sale. So, uh, uh, oh, I, oh, I have to ask about. I went to your uh, your page, your website, uh -huh. and you are soliciting beats on there. Yeah. I'm like, why is he doing this? I couldn't believe it. Um, them 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 my hit throwaways. No, there's some hits on there. Hit throwaways, and it's like a lot of them. Like, yeah. how often are you working? There was at least on one side, and there was like three different sides and different types, and then you got packages. I'm like. This is like a full fledged, and I get it. You a business, I get it. You're a producer, yeah. you a business. But on one side, there was at least fifty. Then you might have two. Like, okay, here's me with my vocals on it. Here's just with the beat right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why is he doing that? I made two hundred thousand last year off my website. Just beats. Okay, you say no more. Okay, yeah. <laughs> First of all, let me apologize for asking such a dumbass question. Yeah. Say Second, no more. Maybe I should just mind my business. Nah, nah. You should go buy a beat. <laughs> 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 uh, and then you asked me why I rap still. Uh, last Do you year, have a okay? Go go go. Just off Distro Kid last year, and it, it be so crazy how people Disco will, is a distributor by the way. For me. Yeah, like we be fools sometimes, and you'll think just because a person ain't to the sky, like. But I last year just off Distro Kid, I can go on my Distro Kid. I made fifty thousand dollars just off streaming, and it showed me something different, which is, you know, like it ain't like Drake money, but it's. You know, forget the shows. Just off the streaming, there is some money. So if you ever catch me just throwing out a song, it's because I know you just never know what to pop. Like me and Anaya Lemis got a song that really streamed well for me, and it showed me something different. Like stop holding on to these records. Then Marcus be telling me stop holding on to the records. Manager, put them out. My son. So I'm dropping. I taught them. that boy everything. <laughs> Not the yeah. dirty stuff. He got that from the music industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, what's, and tell people what the website because there's a, people out there looking for beats all the time. It's incredible. I mean, it was like literally 50 beats ready to go. DJchose.com. When you go on there, it's gonna take you straight to the music. They got hooks. If you're a rapper and you're not really comfortable with club hooks or any kind of hook, you put them on. I there. got them on there. All you need is one from me. You can do your whole album by yourself, but just come get one hit and <laughs> 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 bless your album, man. Treat yourself, man. <laughs> You deserve a DJ Chose beat, man. Wow. For real. <laughs> and what's your social media too, Chose? Uh, Instagram, at DJ Chose. Um, YouTube, please YouTube me and just stream my music. I don't really care about social media. I feel like that is a lie. I know we need it, but I be feeling like social media gives you what they want. They control your, 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 they control, they, they control what they want you to see. And I don't feel like you could see the beauty in me on social media. But I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm going to do it. But, man, follow me in life. Oh, let me, I got to get this. Because you rap and you DJ and, and, and you produce, where, where's the true passion? If you had to give two of them up, what we going to still see Cho's doing? Rapping. Okay. Yeah. DJ Cho's, y'all. In the studio. Matt had a morning show. <laughs>